everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name's Audrey. That's my son, Jonathan. He's 21. And um, we're going to just go run a couple of errands. We're going to first go to the gas station. And then we're going to go to a charity shop and drop off some donations. Um, and I, I like this particular place because they'll take anything. They're not picky. They don't care. They will take it. Um, and they're very nice there anyway. Um, so right now we're going to head over and get some gas. I have, I have some gas, but I want to put just a little bit more in. And our gas station by our house just reopened. They have been closed, gosh, probably like since November, December, Jan, Feb, March, April. So yeah, for like five months, the gas station's been closed and it's brand new. But I don't know if this is the case, um, on Instagram, you know, if your phone knows your location, it'll pop things up that are nearby you. And we get a lot of these credit card scammer machines in our area for some reason. I, I saw a clip and it was, I'm like, that's our gas station or that's our, you know, that's our store or whatever. And then they closed and yeah, there's, um there's that attachment onto the regular pin pad for your scanning or tapping, but then they add, they add something on top of it so that they can skim your information and then they sell it and, you know, do all kinds of illegal shit with it. So here we are. How much is gas? Four eighty nine. Um, when we drove from East Coast to West Coast, we were shocked <laughs> how cheap the gas was. In some places, it was like $2.10. And I, I haven't seen it that low since probably late 80s or maybe 90s or something. So, uh, yeah, tax or gas here, um, it's expensive. It's still expensive. I mean, it's not $7 like it was, um, but it's still, it's too much. Um, why do people need to be greedy and suck the life out of people that are just trying to live their freaking life? Good question. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can do this without getting scammed and ripped off. Okay, well, that was pretty painless. We put on some sanitizer. During COVID, when it was, you know, full-blown COVID, I would definitely wear gloves when I was putting gas in. I really should carry gloves um, and wear gloves getting gas anyway. But um, All right, Johnny Ready, let's go by the thrift shop, charity shop. And the money at from this charity shop goes directly to this to the um our zip code which i think is good i'm not sure how to get out of here okay it's been so long since i've been here john i don't remember okay <clears throat> so yeah so i don't oh my god can i get through here what the hell i'm not sure what's happening over here um Okay. Someone's going to use the public dump system to dump some personal stuff, it looks like. Anyway, okay. Pay attention. Where am I? All right. Sorry. Off we go. Homeless person. Oh, God, I hate seeing homeless people. I just, I feel so bad. And it's like, you know, they do it to themselves. Do you help them? Do you feel bad for them? I feel bad for most of them. I feel bad because it's a mental health issue. How is that possible? How does their, their uh, unhealthy mental health cause them to be homeless? Well, because like so many other people um, who are not homeless, uh, we self-medicate. 
I'll inc I will include myself in that. I mean, I'm I'm fully medicated, but you know, I sure I have self medicated uh, on top of medication, um, and that's not healthy. And that leads to bad choices. That leads down leads you to a, a bad path, a wrong path. You know, you start making um, choices. And decisions that are not in your best interest. And it's it's like that that you can end up homeless. You know, you miss two mortgage payments or, you know, whatever. There's a million things that go wrong when you're not responsible and you're self-medicating yourself. Um, and it's not just stuff like alcohol. It's serious drugs very serious drugs that people get addicted to and they have like a $500 a day addiction. Can you imagine? That's insane. Let me turn this fan on. So when I see a homeless person, it's like, yeah, they're probably, some of them I can tell because I'm a psychic, I can tell I can read their energy and yep, they have a problem. And, you know, giving them a dollar or uh, buying them food or giving them $5 or something, is that gonna fix them? D no. Mm -hmm. Right, John? It's not gonna fix them, but God, my, you know, your heart bleeds. My heart bleeds. Sometimes these people are my kids' age. Sometimes these people look like it's my they're my parents' age. And it's like, you have compassion for humanity. And it's like, you know, I, one person can't save everybody. I can't save the planet. Uh, but collectively we could. And I just really wish the government had a better response. I, I don't even know what, you know... It's so complicated, but it's all political. I've been to so many other countries, and it's just not like this in most of the other countries I've been to. Um, so, yeah, it's hard. All right, so we got gas, and we're going to head out to the main street. Oh my gosh, so last night, hubby and I had a date. <laughs> we had a date, I said. We had a date. Um, we had a really good time. We went and saw a comedian, small venue, which is nice. Um, we were right in the front row, so that was fun. That doesn't happen too often, um, but it was fun. And I know... Uh, we gave tickets also to Jonathan's teacher just because we had them. And um, so his teacher sat next to us. Um, but you could hear people talking after the show and they're like, well, I didn't know he was so political, um, you know, and, and gay bashing and stuff. Well, he wasn't gay bashing or anything, but um, I don't know what happens to us. He's 60, 60 years old. I'm 55, oh, I'll be 56 in a couple weeks. I don't know what happens to us, but it's like an alarm clock goes off in our body and it's like, okay, this shit's getting real. Okay, gee, are you gonna be able to retire? Are you gonna get your pension? What is the government doing? to screw your future over. And all of these political things start becoming really important to you. It's a thing in older people. Yes, it happens with people of all ages, but for people, I would say in their 50s and up, po politics is a huge discussion no matter who you talk to, what side they're on, they're very active and up to date on politics. And I don't like to talk about politics. Um, I like to listen to, you know, all the sides and kind of make my own decision and choices based on who's there, who's available, and that kind of thing. Um, so I didn't agree with, you know, some of the things he was saying. It's like, mm, okay, well, that's funny if you believe that that's the case. Um, but I don't, I don't believe that. 
or whatever. So, um, but it was a good time. It was fun. I haven't laughed like that in quite a while. So that was nice. How about you, John? What are you up to? We have a new school tour for you coming this week, right? Has been our John's graduating college in December. So we have to find a new place for him to start in January. And he's finished. Uh, John, how many? So he finished 12th grade and now he's been in college for four years. So, <laughs> um, I miss school. I miss the, I miss the young school I worked at. I miss the college I worked at. I miss being in, in college and school. Okay, wait, hold on. Which way am I going? Um, no, next one. Um, okay. All right. I could go that way, but no. Okay, sorry, sir. Oh, gosh. And, you know, I don't want to cut anybody off in a town, in a city, where there's a lot of gangs. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway. So, Wednesday, um, we're going to go look at a new school. Um, it's an adult day program, I guess is what it's called. Um, ADP, Adult Day Program, something like that. Um, so, Jonathan is not capable of learning mathematics or English or literature, you know, anything like that. He can learn how to do some small tasks. Right, John? Because I read his reports and, you know, we have meetings and it's like, oh, he's throwing his garbage away. What? When did you start doing that? He doesn't do that at home. He doesn't throw his garbage away. He doesn't clean his plate off the table. Huh? See, you don't tell me about these things. Um, anyway, so I want a place for him that's just going to be mainly fun, somewhere safe, somewhere to keep him uh, basically entertained. Um, this place, I think, is an art and technology school. So he loves doing art. He loves technology. He loves being out in the public. Right? Right, John? Um, so, yeah. So the thing is, we plan on moving, I would say, in the next year or two, not far Maybe not this particular city, but somewhere close by, maybe. We're not sure exactly, but definitely in this area. So, I want to find a school that he can stay at long term, or an institution he can stay at long term, um, and have it not be too far from the house. Am I supposed to go around the other way? No, there is no other way. All right, someone's just in my way. That's all right. I'll just pull up right here. Someone's back in. All right. All right. Hold on. Okay. Well, they got a lot of donations today so far. So that's good. Always very nice. Like I said. All right. So let's go this way. So Wednesday is a tour, and then Friday is my snip snip biopsy thing. So after that incident at the dentist's office, I realized how nervous and upset I am about this biopsy. I mean, worst case scenario, yeah, I have to have surgery and, you know, possibly a partial or full hysterectomy or something. That would be the worst case. So, yeah. All right. So I'm going to do some painting. I haven't done painting in a little while. Um, I started working on a painting to go above the fish tank that we got when Benjamin moved here. 
You might be able to hear it in the background. I'll show it, show it to you in a minute. Um, I've changed my mind. Big surprise. I don't want this painting. Let me just show you. Hold on. Okay, so there's the fish tank. Hello, everybody. Hello. Look at those snails. Look how big they are. Okay, so I threw that little thing up there. I got that for like $5. I want to get rid of it. Um, so here is my massive canvas that I've been working on. Um, if you can't tell, it's a mermaid. And I like her shape, like here's her bottom. And then here's the, like the small of her back and then abdomen and then up to the chest that way. But I know I'm not going to be able to do it the way I want it to look like. So um, I decided to put this canvas over there next to the TV on that wall somewhere. So I have a few ideas of what I'm going to do. But of course it never turns out to how it's in my mind. Anyway, I'm going to start with some white paint covering up this nightmare right here. And I'll do some sort of landscape or um, plants, trees, something like that. <laughs> those are pretty easy to do. You can't really mess those up, but I'll try. All right, let's go. Okay, well, I have that on while I'm working. I listen to Sebastian... Uh, when I do my hair, when I straighten my hair, or when I'm doing anything mundane or kind of boring because it's just noise in the background for me. So he's my favorite comedian. Okay. Anyway, here's one coat of this paint. Now, this isn't a super qu uh, quality paint. This is just cheap acrylic paint. I do have full body paint. I have a lot of supplies. I have a lot, a lot of supplies. So... Um, that's one coat. I'm going to let this dry overnight. I could blow dry it, but I don't want to heat up the house. That's a thing. Um, so I'm going to let this dry overnight and I'll hit it again tomorrow. All right. Okay. Johnny is homesick today from school. Let me check on him. Hey bud. How are you feeling? Ninety-eight one. That is great. Great news. Yeah, you're so tired, huh? You had a mild fever about an hour ago. Yeah, I'm sorry you're sick. Yeah, he has a stuffy nose. Um, but we're watching TV. And I have the baby monitor. This is the baby monitor. And I can rotate it and move it around to see what's going on. So, I'm so happy you're smiling. Love you. What time is it? It's time for a new recipe. Yes, that's right. It is time for another new recipe. So, I've been sitting here at my desk way too long watching murder trials on YouTube, I need a break and I need something sweet. So come with me to the kitchen. Let's try this new recipe together. I have not tried this yet, but I'm excited because it's got chocolate in it. And I'm a sugar addict and I'm trying not to eat sugar. So I will get my sweetness through a banana in this recipe. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this dessert takes four ingredients. Can you believe it? Four ingredients. Two bananas, two eggs, a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa, and one teaspoon baking soda. I've never tried this before. It's from Instagram. There's so many of these recipes on Instagram that contain bananas or cottage cheese, different things um, that are healthier alternatives than store-bought cookies or box cakes or anything like that. So trying really hard to be healthy, trying really, really hard. It's not easy for me, <laughs> but 
Um, so let's go ahead. I have lots of bananas. I went a little nuts making sure I had enough uh, bananas to create one or two or three of these different varieties of desserts. Um, all right, so let's get the ingredients and do this. All right. Big bananas or little bananas? Well, who's ready? Who's ready to be eaten? Maybe one of each. This one looks ready. These are not as uh, ripe as I would like, but this is all I can do. You gotta use what you have, work with what you have. Did you know the real way to open a banana is from this end? It works really well. You just kind of pinch that little black section and it really just opens up. So easy. See? Easy. I am all for easy. And let's open the second banana. Pinching right here. Look. Works every time. Instead of using the other end, because you know, have you ever gotten a banana and here's an old banana and you try and break it off here and it doesn't open all the way and then you have a big mushy mess? That makes me nuts. So you've learned something new today. All right, let's get rid of that. I don't really have any directions on this recipe. Uh, so I'm just gonna wing it. I'm winging, I'm winging it. So I'm gonna get a pan mixer out. Um, I'm not sure which pan I'm gonna use. I wanna see how much volume, how much mixture there is in here. And then I'll find a cooking pan to use. All right, so two bananas. Let's measure out some cocoa. All right, so this is a quarter cup. It calls for half a cup. So let's go ahead. Again, this does not have sugar in it, this cocoa. Um, they call this recipe a brownie recipe but I will reserve the right to rename it once it's out of the oven. Yesterday, I tried to make a, quote, cheesecake using cottage cheese. It was awful, 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 awful. It was not cottage cheese. It was not, it was not cheesecake by far. Yeah, very bitter, very bitter, not fun. Not my kind of chocolate. One teaspoon, one tablespoon, one teaspoon. All right. Okay, one teaspoon baking soda, and let's grab two eggs. Dos huevos. Dos huevos. Um, you want to see? I'm a one-handed cracker. I crack an egg with one hand. I can't use two hands. When I try and use two hands, I mess it up. How weird is that? All right, so let me show you how I how I do it, I guess. It's just natural to me. Let me move this out of the way. So all I do, I need something. Okay, I'll do this, okay? I'm gonna take my egg, hit it, open. Boom, easy. One more egg, ready? Hit it open. No shells. No shells in there, my friends. Give it a try. It's fun. <laughs> you have to entertain yourself. All right, let's go ahead and try mixing this up. Let's see what happens. Let's see what it, let's see what the dough tastes like. These bananas are not soft, so um, I would recommend definitely forking and smashing them before you try mixing it. All right, I'm gonna use this loaf pan. This is my pan I use for zucchini bread. And I have some parchment liner there. Throw that on. The one spatula I have left. 
It's not sweet. It's definitely chocolatey. I think if those, <clears throat> excuse me, I think if those bananas were a little sweeter, this would taste better. But you know what? We're going to give it a try. It's tempting to add in. I might add in this little piece of banana for some sugar. I think I'll do that. Because this banana is falling apart. I'm going to do that. So there we go. Let's squish him up. That's definitely better. So I would even say some overripe bananas would be good. All right, let's pour this in the pan. Now, I didn't line the pan properly. Let me show you. I didn't line it right. I needed another piece of paper going this way. So now my batter is touching the metal part. So whatever. I'm going to throw it in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. Four zero. Okay, so here it is. It baked in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. Four zero. Um, it smells really, really nice. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be good, though, because oh, I just, I don't know. Um, but let's plate it up. Hold on. Okay, you can try this piece. Oops, okay. hmm. Smells like a skin on it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else in here? You can't taste it that much. Eggs, uh, baking soda, powdered cocoa. And it tastes like a bananas. Yeah, it's like just a less sweet chocolate muffin. I think it was like a sweet, okay. sweet cup of coffee or something. Okay. All right. No, it's yeah, it's not horrible. No. I won't, I shouldn't throw it in the garbage like no. I did yesterday <laughs> with the other stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. I gotta try it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna try it. You need salt. Yeah, salt. Okay. Oh. As soon as my tongue hit that, it's like, oh, it needs salt. <laughs> All I got is older sweet now. You lose your you lose your taste when you get older. Mm. I don't like it. You don't like it? It's way too bitter for me. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I'm sick, so I don't know if I can and taste it all the way. Yeah, you have a cold. It's bitter. It's, um, I don't know, it feels chalky to me. Yeah, it's kind of chewy to me with the skin on it. I mean, it's, overall, the texture is nice. Mm -hmm. Squishy. It's a good idea. Mm. Not saying I won't eat it. <laughs> something right <laughs> hmm. okay well that's the end of this week's video you guys thanks for checking out this vlog thank you benjamin for your taste <laughs> taste buds lack of <laughs> lack of and um don't forget to hit the subscribe button check out the other channel the salty psychic on youtube and hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you real soon with another recipe bye